Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, bring you guys along with me on my morning walk. You know, I love to walk down here to my office because it's so beautiful. You can just see all the lovely greenery and just how lovely the neighborhood is. It's just a great time. A lot of you have been writing me letters saying that you're very upset about the, the Gulf oil disaster. And uh, I have to tell you, I've been doing some research into that. Uh, I have to plead ignorance here. I was totally unaware of how extensive the damage has been. I saw a, a picture yesterday that was just, it was heart-wrenching. There was a dragonfly down near the Gulf, and he was stuck on a tree limb. Um, his wings got coated with oil and he couldn't fly and he was trying to sun himself but the fact is his wings are damaged and he probably won't recover and the little bug is well probably dead by now as he couldn't fly and was just sitting prey and I tell you it really impacted me because I thought these creatures there are thousands and thousands of fish jellyfish dragonflies, birds, ducks, all of them are just dying and it's devastating. They're innocent creatures and they've had to they've had to pay. They've had to pay for humankind's ignorance. I think it's tragic, I think it's wrong, I think it's sad. And a lot of you have written to me and you've said, Bob, is it the end of the world yet? Well, I don't think it's the end of the world, but I think it's the end of a lot of worlds for a lot of the creatures. You know, this oil devastation has so environmentally impacted the earth, and I personally believe we'll be seeing the results for years to come. My heart really is sad today because I saw the devastation. Maybe if you go, I looked on it, it was on Yahoo, the news story on Yahoo about the oil slip. You might want to go see it. And they have pictures of all the dead animals and the ones that are alive, but so damaged by the oil and toxified, poisoned, that they're probably going to die. It's just, it's gut-wrenching. But is it the end of the world? No. But it is a wake-up call for us that we need to be aware, we need to be alert, we need to think about what we're doing to our earth, what we are doing to our fellow creatures. You know, we're all one. It's not just some trite phrase, it's really true. We're all connected. We're all interconnected. And if we start to become aware of that, maybe we'll take better care of the earth. You know what my answer is? solar power and wind power. I think we need to move away from this this petroleum-based economy. That's my two cents. All right, guys, thanks so much.